A loopback address is a special IP address. 127.0.0.1 is the most commonly used loopback address. A set of IP addresses, also known as a block, is reserved by various international engineering task force standards. The block starts from 127.0.0.1 and it goes up to 127.0.0.8. The loopback IP address is commonly mapped to the host name localhost or loopback. But the question is, what is the purpose of a loopback address? A loopback address is defined to facilitate the communication between a client and a server process which are running on the same computer. By using a loopback address, the server and the client don't need to know the exact IPv4 address of the machine and they can communicate using the generic IP address 127.0.01. Let me show you a few example usages. I will use the TCP server and TCP client utilities which we created in section 2 and section 3 of this course. First of all, run the TCP server and TCP client. In TCP server, supply the loopback address of your PC that is 127.0.0.1 and click start listening. Now go to the client window and specify 127.0.0.1 in the server IP text field and port number 23000 and click connect button. You see, we did not use the concrete IP address of this machine. Instead, we use the generic loopback address and the client and server can both send data to each other and the client and the server can still send data to each other. There is one tricky scenario that is worth mentioning. Suppose that the server is listening on the current IP address of this machine which is 192.168.1.3 Start listening, and the and the client is also running on the same machine, and the client tries to access the server using the loopback address that is 127.0.0.1 and the same port number. You see, both client and the server are running on the same machine, but the server is using the current IP address of this of this machine instead of the loopback address. Let us click the connect button and see what happens. An error showed up. The point of showing this specific case was that it won't work. If you want the client and the server to communicate through the loopback address, the server must be listening on the loopback address.